Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your dose of zombies news from the game and community here on COD Zombies HQ. Hot damn, what do you know? We've got some news today. It being January 15th, 2019, 115 day, Treyarch released a blog updating what's going to be coming to Black Ops 4 Zombies right now and in the future. Along with what they're calling the 115 day celebration event, which starts today, ends on January the 18th, where you got double XP, double Naboo. Plasma and double weapon XP. A new challenge round game mode called Gauntlets has arrived on the PlayStation 4 exclusively for a week, only for the map Voyage of Despair so far. That's available right now with the latest patch. There's also been three new elixirs added. You can see them and their effects listed on screen now. Perk up, refreshment, and conflagration, liquidation, of which all three are pretty good elixirs. They have pretty good effects. I think really good elixirs has been lacking within Black Ops 4. Perk up seems to be the kind of replacement for perkaholic, so that seems to be something that's going to be pretty sought after when you're spinning for elixirs. Along with the new elixirs, they've made some changes changes to some elixirs that were already in the game, six of them specifically, you can see them on screen now. I'm not going to read over all of them, just know that they've pretty much been buffed, all of them they've been made better than they were before. Now switching gears away from today's patch, and instead let's look ahead at stuff that they're going to be adding into Black Ops 4 Zombies very soon, we've got mastery camos, so new camos for completing harder challenges within Zombies, secondly we've got something that I think a lot of fans were asking for, expecting with the release of DLC 1 for whatever reason we didn't get it then, we are going to be getting it now, and that is classic and loot weapons returning into Zombies map. So weapons like the MP40, the Grav, the Demon 3XB, the SWAT RFT, and are all coming to Zombies. No word here on weapons like the Galil, which is in Blackout. We expect it to be in maps like Classified, where it was originally. Although it's not mentioned here, here's hoping that they just forgot it or didn't want to mention it for whatever reason. The Galil should definitely be with in maps like five in zombies so it's good that they're adding new weapons we don't have a timeline on when they're going to be added hopefully fairly soon. Another very important feature which should have been there from launch but wasn't is the addition of Mastercraft and Black Market camos and reactive camos can now be equipped in zombies in the future. So you can use the Mastercraft weapons that you unlock via the Black Market in your zombies games. Currently by playing zombies you can only earn one daily tier skip per day. There's no other way to earn Mastercraft reactive camos or Black Market camos by playing zombies other than that which is still backwards in my opinion, but that you can equip them in zombies now. Big thumbs up there. They're adding a new perk coming very soon. They simply say about it, our first new perk is coming to Black Ops 4 Zombies in the near future. Look out for more details as we get closer to this update later this month. And finally, they say that there's going to be more gauntlet challenges coming to other maps other than just Voyage of Despair. Finally, they go on looking even farther into 2019. They don't mention anything about DLC 2, which allows a lot of us were expecting, but they do reveal a suite of features, not really content, but more so features that are going to be coming to the mode, including fixes to host migration, the ability to pause the game as the host, so that's really good if you want to take a bathroom break when you're playing with your friends. I wonder if that could be abused somehow, if you're playing a public match where the host just decides you know, I'm gonna take a break for five minutes, and what do the other players do? We'll have to wait and see how that works. Split screen pause is gonna be added, more gauntlets, which we talked about earlier. Expanded stat support for the Black Ops authenticity stamp system, cool. I don't really use it, I don't really know anybody that does, but hey, it's there. Finally, the most meaty of these updates, that is Faction Callings. I'm gonna go ahead and read what they say about this one, where, quote, Factions is planned to be our most intricate new feature coming to Black Ops 4 later in 2019, and as such, will require the most time to complete the engineering, scripting, and implementation, and testing needed before going live in the game. I think this is in response to Jason Blundell apparently telling Mr. Waffle Waffles at the review event for Black Ops 4 that Faction Callings was already completed, waiting to just press that button to launch into the game. Uh, apparently that's not the case, but I digress. They continue by saying, quote, Faction Callings are designed to feature full season of 12 unique challenge events across all Zombies maps and game modes that rewards players with never before seen character customization loots. Hopefully, hopefully, oh dear God, hopefully it's not just face paints. 
Please, Treyarch, completing each event will culminate in faction-based narrative reveals that flesh out the Zombies universe even further. We don't know if this is going to be exclusive to the Chaos storyline. I would probably expect it would be, which makes it less interesting to me personally, but we'll have to wait and see. And finally, they say that the Zombies director, Jason Blundell, will be doing a Q&A live from Treyarch over on their Twitter page. That hasn't gone live at the time of this recording if there's any some kind of very interesting reveal within that content I'll make another video following this one up to hopefully let you guys know exactly what Jason Blundell said but that's the skinny on today's update and what they revealed of what's coming in the future for Black Ops 4 Zombies let me know if you're excited about today's content I want to thank you very much for watching today's video if you did enjoy it definitely smash that thumbs up button down below subscribe to the channel if you aren't already a huge shout out to everybody in the notification squad with that bell icon on, turned on you guys are awesome and I'll see you with another zombies news video hopefully pretty soon peace